at Lone Town had an upward incline toward the end of last season. I'm joined now by Laurie to discuss. Um, you guys were really getting getting a few results together towards the end of last season, Laurie. Um, yeah, I think it's something we're trying to build on this season. Um, we had a lot of new girls in last year and it did take a while for it all to gel together. Um, so I suppose that's something this year we've kept a lot of those girls so there's not that learning curve that we have at the start. So hopefully that'll allow us to get results earlier on this year. I was actually just about to mention that. You managed to retain a good lot of the players um, from out your direction. I know there's a few from Sligo but they're still playing with Athlone Town and it's great to see them getting a bit of consistency in Athlone. Yeah, I think that was something that me and Tommy, the manager, kind of discussed late on the season last year. The key thing for, for Atlone to develop was to keep that consistency there um, and to try bring in more players to, to kind of boost us up. And I think we've tried to do that in as best as we could. Um, so he would have went and spoke with all the girls we had and told them that he wanted to keep them on, which was um, a good way to go about it. And once they were on board, then it meant that everyone kind of wanted to stay on board. So we managed to build the same kind of squad and add to it, which was great. And with that in mind then, where do the expectations lie with Athlone for this season? What's your what's your goals? Um, I think for us the key thing is to try and um, get onto the top half of the table. So whether that be top four or five and get results. Um, I think against the top three we didn't get any results last year. So I think we will be trying to target that. And um, another big thing for us is to try score more goals. I think that's something we really struggled with last year. And towards the end of the season it did start to come a bit better. But I think it's something that we're trying to, to really push on with this year. And we're all excited to see it. Um, so best of luck anyways for the kickoff of the season. Um, the countdown is on to the 2022 Women's National League.